by people who know the book and people who have no idea, and yet make the story accessible to both sets. You know, I think the best thing to do is what we're doing, which is, I mean, the books are a super helpful set of, set of signposts, but, you know, we're making the TV show its own its own show. So I do feel like fans of the book won't be disappointed because we're hitting all the, the high spots, but at the same time, you, you know, you don't have to read the book to watch the show, you don't have to watch the show, you like the books, uh, they're very much their own entities. For me, having been there at the creation, so much fun to go back to this world that I helped create and do it differently, you know, and, and uh, come up with, with new crazy things to do. Are you surprised by any new thread that you that you found in the, in the show that maybe you weren't expecting to have to do? Or? Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of new things. Uh, maybe I wasn't expecting to to create so many. You know, to go down so many different new avenues, and not because I'm reluctant to. I just. I just didn't really understand how television works, I think, and it's a completely different animal, and it's great. I mean, it's it's really, it's fun to, it's fun to have some sort of guide, but not feel in any way beholden to it. What can you tell us about Kelly and the feelers? I can tell you the feelers are super scary, uh, super great. <laughs> There's something that was in the book, you know, and you write it in the book, and like, oh, that's really creepy, but then to see it acted out, uh, phenomenally effective. And uh, Kelly Natalie Brown, she's fantastic as a vampire. She is a trooper, four and a half hours of makeup, and then she shows up, and she is amazing. Um, so it's great. I mean, you know, she's she sort of uh, has developed this weird little family unit of her own now that she has crossed over to the other side. Uh, and it's super effective. Super excited about it. Any other new characters that we should be watching out for? Sure, yeah, I mean, one one major one is uh, this uh, councilwoman from Staten Island. Who uh, Staten Island, because of its geography, uh, it's 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 easier to repel the uh, vampires from there. Surrounded by water, and they can't you know move around as much. So she sort of rises to power uh, with her success there, and um, through her we get a sense of the sort of the New York resistance uh, to the plague that's uh, spreading. Can you talk to us more about this book that Chitrakian is looking for? Mm -hmm. The Acetyl Lumen is a book that may or may not exist, so far as he knows. It's something that, that you know, he obviously is, he knows everything about uh, the lore of the Stringoi, and it's something that he, that he knew about and was chasing for many years in the past, and then thought uh, that it was destroyed, and then he, he gets a hint early on this season that maybe it wasn't destroyed, and, uh, and goes out looking for it. What it contains is the, what it contains, he feels, is the origin of the vampires and how they were created, and his hope is that if you could figure out how, the, how they were created, maybe there's a way to figure out how to destroy them. Will we see more of the, there was like that vampire SWAT team that, that yes. showed up, are we going to learn more about what they're all about? We will, we will learn more about them, and then there's actually, again, this is more season 2.0 than season 2, we're going to take it up a notch, and there's another major new character about halfway through the season who appears and turns everything upside down. So there's seven ancients, right? Correct. And we've met four. Four. Yeah. When are we going to learn about the other three? Um, you'll learn a little bit about them, but um, spoiler, I mean, we'll meet them. Uh, the, yeah, there were three old world, three new world, and then the rogue uh, was the seven, who was uh, the master. Um, yeah, more to come. Gotta take a peek, guys.